Hello, I'm Sean Powers and this, well, I mean, it's a, it's a YouTube video and I'm, I'm going to talk about Linux and stuff, but it's actually a really cool thing that I'm talking about today because, um, now that I have Linux on the desktop, I find myself being able to do so many cool things that I never really was able to do before. Let me show you. So I'm here on my Linux desktop and this is, uh, this is just Thunar. This is my file manager of choice. And in my, uh, home S powers bin folder, I have a bunch of bash scripts that I do things on my system, you know, like you would, if you're a Linux person and you can run bash scripts, but you'll notice here, there's one called new comic. And if I double click on new comic, it doesn't open up a terminal window. It opens up this really cool pop-up window and it actually says, uh, it lists my last comic. Uh, this is from my big round world comic. And it says, what is the new comic number? I could put anything in here I want, but I'm just going to type the new number, like the next sequential number, uh, 0368. And how many panels do I want on, uh, this new comic? And generally I make three panel comics unless I have an idea that uh, requires one, two, uh, or four panels, in which case I would select that. And if I click OK, it creates a folder in my uh, MBRW folder, big round, my big round world, and it populates it with all of the proper uh, files that I need to draw that comic for the day. So what I do is I have pane one, pane two, pane three, and then this one here uh, is a, a three pane template where I can drag each individual uh, file into there and have it like one solid uh, comics. And that's, that's how I do it. But I used to do this manually. I used to make a new folder and I used to drag. If I go up a folder here, you'll see um, I have, you know, this is a one panel template, two panel, three panel, four panel, and then just a square is just like one of the individual panels. And I would copy like three square into there and one of whichever one I need, and I would rename it. And it was a real uh, pain in the butt, but it, I didn't find a really easy way to do it when I was running on Windows. With Bash, uh, I made a quick Bash script, but I thought I would be even fancier and put a GUI on there. And the GUI is just using Bash and a really cool tool called Zenity. Now, Zenity is just the new name for G Dialog, which is a graphical version of the command line dialog program. Basically, it's just a way that you can call from within a Bash script uh, to pop up a GUI that will get all sorts of information and then feed that back into the Bash script. Now, I'm going to show you my Bash script that I use for uh, new comics, and then I'll just show you some of the other options that you can do with Zenity. It's you kind of have to think a little bit differently when you're making a Bash script uh, because it actually calls the program Zenity, and then Zenity will return the results to you. I'll show you what I mean. So back here, if I were to right click and let's say open it with a mouse pad, which is a GUI text editor, which I actually wouldn't normally use. Uh, but let's see if we can make this a little bit bigger there. Hopefully we can see that. So basically it is just a bash script written in bash. We've, there's a, uh, I have a whole playlist on how to use bash, uh, but I CD into my folder where my big round world comics are. And I created this little regex string, which will uh, detect not detect, it will filter uh, folders that are integers. So I'll, you'll see why that's important in just a second. Uh, the last variable I sign to the results of ls. So ls will just give a listing of all the things in the folder. And then using grep with uh, extended uh, regex, like the dash E flag means that it will use regex. It actually will filter out only things that are named integers. So the folders are named integers in that folder. Let me get that folder back. So you can see here, all the folders are all named integers, except this one called older, random stuff. And of course, these things in here are not uh, named simply with integers. And what I want to do is get a list of just the integers. So I have the folder names and tail uh, dash n1 will just give me the very last one in the list. LS puts them in numerical order. And so if I just get the last of that list, I get the number of the most recent uh, folder that is an integer. All right. And then uh, the next line is where I actually query what the new folder should be called. And so how you do that with Zenity is I assign the variable info 
to the results of everything inside here. And again, how this works is inside the Bash uh, scripting playlist, which I'll put a link probably up there somewhere. Uh, and this basically calls Entity using the Forms tool. And it's th the text flag here will be like the very top of that thing. So let's start this up and we can see what is actually happening. So uh, it starts up and it says the last comic put this right here. The last comic is the last variable, which means, which is where it got from this last thing here. It's 0368 because that's the last one that is in there. And it says add entry, which is this entry right here, uh, new comic number, and then add another entry, number of panels, one through four. And it expects me to put information in both of those. And then when I do, and I press okay, it returns, actually, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, it returns those two results separated by a pipe symbol. So if I had a form with like five different results, it would be like the stuff in the first one and a pipe symbol, second one, pipe symbol. So it gives you just a string of whatever your answers were, each one separated by the pipe symbol. And then I break it apart. I say the comic, meaning like the number that I want to call the folder and call all of those files is going to be the results of that. Remember, it comes in two parts. It comes in the number that I assigned for the folder and then how many panels. So it, it was like 0368 pipe symbol, the number three, all right? Basically I use awk and I tell it that the field separator is the pipe symbol. I have to put this backslash in the way because otherwise it will actually use the pipe symbol. Uh, but I say the field separator is the pipe symbol and I want you to print out the very first field. And that first field is the comic number. And then the next line, I assign the variable panels to that same thing, but I print the second half of that, you know, the part after the pipe symbol, the second field in the results. And then that is the number three in this case. And that is assigned to panels. And then I go a little bit further. I say, okay, so if the comic is the comic, meaning the number that I assigned for like the, the folder or the next comic number, if it is an integer based on that regex string that I did up above and the panels are also an integer, right? I can't have like F panels. It has to be a number and the panels are greater than or equal to one. So it has to be, it has to be one or greater and the panels are less than or equal to four because I don't have a five panel layout. I only have one, two, three, and four. So if all of these variables are true or all these tests are true, then it will go through the process of make a directory called that number. Uh, it'll copy panels-panel.cra because remember I have the number is listed, right? So a one, like a three panel would be three dash and then the word panel, because that's what my file name is actually like one dash panel dot CRA or KRA. And so then whatever, uh, however many panel thing I've decided, it will take that and it will copy it to the folder we just created to a file called that number dot KRA. Okay. And so that's my template for the completed set. And then it goes through a while loop uh, where it will create a single panel uh, using this square.kra, it will copy it to uh, that folder, that number, dash, and then the panel, and it iterates through the number. It actually, it goes backwards, right? Because if there's four panels, the first one it starts with is four, and then it goes down to here where it decrements panel. So then it's three, it goes back through the while loop until it goes like four, three, two, one. Or in this case, if there were three panels, it would say uh, panel three, panel two, panel one, and then it leaves that loop. And then Thunar, again, my file manager is called and it opens up the folder that we just created, uh, which is that number. And that's what, what we did when we did it. Now, if one of the tests up here does not pass, like if I, and I'll, I'll show you in a second what happens, if, if one of the tests doesn't pass, it doesn't do this part of the, the uh, if then loop. It doesn't do any of this. It goes right to the else statement. And then Zenity, another one of the things it can do is pop up a warning box. And it says, oops, those aren't numbers. 
meaning like you did something wrong. Or now I could have probably made a smarter error message, but basically if I put something out of range, not one through four for the panels or uh, the number that I select for the actual folder name isn't an integer, it'll say those aren't numbers and it will just warn me. So let's, let's actually execute it again. So right here, we'll double click on new comic. And if I were to put in the new comic uh, letters, even if I have like panels and that is correct, it will still, I'll click OK. It's not going to create any folders. It's just going to say, oops, those are, those are numbers. It's going to give me that warning and then it's going to end. OK, so that's how I use a bash script, uh, but um, I actually get a nice GUI wrapped out of it. Now you certainly don't have to have a GUI in order to make a very effective and useful bash script. Most of my bash scripting is just on the command line. I could pop open a terminal window, type new comic, it would ask me the questions and then it would do it. I just like the idea of being able to have an icon to double click, pop up that window and then create everything on the fly for me using a GUI. I don't know, it almost feels like I'm a real programmer, but Zenity does a lot more uh, than just the few forms that I did. And I'll show you really quickly all the options uh, that it has. So if we look here, for example, there's an error dialog box. Now I chose to use a warning instead of an error, but an error just has, you know, a different type of dialog box. The warning is the one that I did. It just, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't use error. I just used warning instead. Um, there's the info dialog box, which uh, doesn't look scary, but it will pop up this information with the little blue eye there. Again, these are pretty similar, but you can look, there's options there, like how big you want the window and, and that sort of a thing. So you can like take up a lot of the screen or if you just want a tiny little one. If you don't put any height or width information, it will just fit the window to the text, which is what I usually do. Uh, there is a question dialogue where you can say yes or no. And then uh, rather than returning text, it will return an error code uh, that you can then use in your script based on the, or not error code, exit code, uh, based on uh, that exit code, you can do something or not do something inside of your script. Uh, let's see, there's a text dialogue box where it's basically like the one that we did, except it only has one option. And so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't separate the fields with values. And I could have done like multiple pop-ups where the first one would ask for the folder and the second one would ask for the panel. Um, I just used form so I could do them all at once, even though I had to split apart the values inside my bash script. Uh, but this is just like a single entry. And then down here, what do we have? Oh, you can hide it so that the text field, like kind of like a password field, so it doesn't show. We could put the default text that we want in here. And actually I might rewrite it so that it would fill in the next uh, numerated folder because that's usually what I want. So maybe I will actually update my script where I can pre-populate it because if there is an entry, if you use an entry field, you can pre-populate it and that might be beneficial. Uh, the password thing, you can enter a username and password. It'll do the same type of thing where it will uh, give you the results uh, separated by a pipe symbol. Um, this is a sort of thing where it will show a file contents. You can uh, do a checkbox uh, to like select it or not, and it will return results that you can interpret inside your bash script. Same thing with a calendar. It'll do a pop-up calendar date. So like you can, rather than say like, when is your birthday? You could pop up a calendar and have them select their birthday. And then when they click okay, it will return that date to you. So you can use that in your script. Um, it's actually just a really neat uh, way that you can interact with your user using a GUI, even though you don't have to like use a programming language GUI pack. It just uses this this tool Zenity inside of a bash script so it's really cool and of course you can change colors so that things look cool you can actually select files and it will return the path to the file that they've selected or the list of files they select so it can get very very powerful all of the things you do form is actually the one that we did where we had multiple entries and we uh i just took those entries and i did stuff with them and separated them apart uh using awk but anyway you can also do progress dialogue uh progress things which i didn't do but where it will just uh, like a little thing that grows as it's doing things. You can update that so that you can give progress as things are going. Uh, you can do a checklist. Basically, Zenity gives you the ability to have like a full blown GUI application that is actually just a bash script underneath that uses this tool to call and get information back and forth to and from your end user. It's a really cool thing for somebody like myself who is not a programmer, but wants to be able to make some really cool looking applications uh, for things like 
selecting my comic and, and how I want to create my next set of panels. Anyway, uh, I love Zenity, and if you've never used it, I encourage you to play with it. It's the kind of thing you can play with on the command line. You don't have to invest a whole lot. It's going to be in everybody's repository. Just apt install Zenity or DNF install Zenity. It should be there uh, without any problems, and you can just use it right inside your bash scripts. Anyway, thank you to all of my Patreon supporters and all of my YouTube subscribers who make fun videos like this possible. I am grateful that I switched over to Linux on the desktop because without it, I wouldn't have been able to learn about Zenity and maybe you wouldn't have heard about it either. Maybe you already knew about it. I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. I know you're thinking it'd be better if I had an amp. But I guarantee it wouldn't be better if I had an amp because it would just make this louder. Thank you for unsubscribing. <laughs> I'll see you later.